guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about the born this way foundation and concealer I'm going to be doing a review on both of them and a first impression of the concealer because I've actually never tried that before I demo them on my face for you guys and I show you guys like what they look like step by step and my opinion. If you guys are new here, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to see my thoughts on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and concealer, just keep watching. Okay, so um, I have used this foundation before, so it's not like a first impression. So I know how it works best on my skin. I have drier skin, so the way that I can use this product is if I use some moisturizing primers and stuff like that. So I'm priming my skin with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So I'm going to be using this little Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighter in the color Pearl just because, like I said, I know how this foundation works on my skin and it can dry me out a little bit. So I'm just highlighting areas of my face to give me some glow, you know? So my color is the shade Vanilla, and I don't think this is the lightest shade. I probably need a shade lighter, but we're going to roll with it today. It's just because it's winter, while well, it's like recovering from winter, so I'm extremely pale. Um, so I'm just going to start off with one pump on the back of my hand, and one pump gives you about this much product, so it's not a ton of product, especially when you're using a beauty blender. So. I'm gonna need to go in for more pumps, but I'm just gonna take that on my beauty blender and start pouncing it into the skin. Pouncing. This is about one layer on one half of my face. So as you can see, it definitely covers my redness and gives me a little bit of life to my face. So this is one layer all over my face. Um, my zit is still showing here, my pimple, I hate the word zit, and I still have some like weird redness around here so I'm going to go ahead and go in with another layer. But it looks very natural so far and it's just like very, it's a very pretty finish. But like I said, I'm using a ton of foundation and I usually don't use this much like at all so. When I bought the foundation, they sent me this little paper thing, which has the concealers in here. So I don't really know if I'm going to like these concealers at all. Um, so I thought I would test them out, just like these little paper things, because like whoever actually uses these. See if I like them, and if I do, maybe I'll buy one. So I'm going to start by maybe trying a little bit of this medium shade on my pimple right here. I'm not sure if it's going to be the right fit, but I just want to see how these apply to both acne and under the eye and let you guys know. Okay, so I put it on the two little pimps, pimples and I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. So it actually did a decent job of covering, like I can still see them when I'm looking at a mirror, they still exist, but they're definitely not as like red. I'm going to use half on one eye, half on the other and hope I have enough. This actually looks like a decent color match for me. Um, my question is do they only have three shades, fair, medium and deep tan? So I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. It's pretty full coverage, this concealer. I've never tried this concealer before, so this is more of like a first impression. And first impression, it's pretty full coverage, more so than I would have thought. And it's not so easy to blend, but it's not like a pain. Are you ready for the craziness? I'm going to try to cream contour with this deep tan shade. Um, just because that's what I like to do with a lot of concealers so I want to get a true a true grasp of what this is like so I'm just taking that deep tan shade I'm gonna put this where I contour so forehead cheekbones and I'm just gonna do a little like on my chin These aren't as like easily blendable as I would have thought. They're not super creamy. They're almost a little bit like tougher. 
This is what they look like without powder. Both the concealers and the foundation are a nice natural finish. They're not making me look oily or dewy. It's just kind of nice. I will say I can feel them on my face. They feel heavy, which I wouldn't expect from this line. Just like, you know, it sounds like it would be really light and airy. But I do feel them being tacky, sticky, and kind of like heavy. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and the concealer. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup on and I will say that everything blended very smoothly over. Nothing looks patchy or choppy or weird. Um, right now, the foundation looks good, but I know from wearing this foundation in the past it creases around my smile lines and on my forehead you can kind of tell that it's already creasing around my forehead and smile lines a little bit um even when i don't use like um dewy products underneath it it still moves and creases but it also looks dry on me so i would rather have it move and crease and not look dry and look like dewy and pretty than just have it do all the bad things um the concealer, on the other hand, I love. Like, I did not think I would like it. Honestly, I don't know why. I just didn't think I would. For some reason, like, a natural concealer isn't really something that, like, draws me in. But I am loving it. It is full coverage. It covered up everything I needed it to. I really didn't have to use that much. And it's really nice and brightening. And it doesn't look like it's going to crease or anything. I did set it with a powder, but it doesn't look like it's going to crease or anything. So fingers cross. It is a really beautiful foundation just in the way that it looks on the skin. It is very natural but you still get a good coverage and I do think it's nice for like an everyday thing but at the same time I really don't like high-end foundations for everyday makeup. I like foundations that are high-end and expensive for more of like an event thing where like I want to look good tonight and I wouldn't wear this if I was going to an event or I wanted to look good because it does transfer and because it does move around like it's not something that I would want to wear for a prolonged period of time but on an everyday basis if you're just looking for a good foundation that's going to make you look natural but still pretty and give you a good full coverage this is your guy um just don't expect him to last for a super long time and don't expect him to not transfer onto things or like move because he will overall final review wrap it all up get your thoughts together I would not suggest purchasing either of these now I know you may be like but you just said those are good they are good but not good enough for the money like these are both expensive products this retails for about 42 to 36 dollars depending on where you buy it from and I just don't think it's worth it I really really don't I think that there are foundations at the drugstore that are better than this one and while I do like it and I think it is good for like a nice natural everyday use it is not something I think that you should go spend your money on and the same goes for the concealer I feel like my Maybelline fit me concealer works just as well as this and I personally feel like there are so many different foundations that can give you like this exact look it doesn't have to be one from the drugstore but it also doesn't have to be high-end if you have like all the money in the world girlfriend go buy them because they're fun but like if you're like looking to spend your gift card on something or like your hard-earned dollars these opinions are all my own if you have other opinions if this is your favorite foundation or you hate this foundation that's totally fine products work differently on literally everyone thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye